Today on Electoral TV, we'll unbox the Home Assistant Green, which promises to be the private and local smart home hub for everyone. The Home Assistant Green Smart Home Hub from Nabucasa is a complete smart home solution that promises to make lives easier and homes smarter. If we look at the underside of the box, you'll see that this has a quad-core Cortex-A55 CPU, 4GB of RAM, 32GB of eMMC non-volatile storage, two USB 2 ports, and a gigabit Ethernet port. I think 100 megabits may have sufficed, but they didn't skimp. The packaging is nice and neat, with a recycled cardboard feel to it. It's heavier than I expected it to be. Look how they put the Home Assistant logo in the tab. Hello Home! Inside, let's see, there's a sticker. I never know what to do with these, but yeah, give them to the kids. There's a quick start sheet of paper. Safety information. There's a box marked Power Supply which I'm guessing holds the power supply. Yeah, that wasn't really necessary, but it shows you their attention to design detail. Underneath, there's an ethernet cable for a stable connection. I love these metal connectors. And the Home Assistant Green itself inside this polyethylene bag. Nice, shiny, look at the heart. I wasn't expecting it to feel so nice and solid since I figured it was a product designed for makers, but the more technically oriented end users will be pleased with this. And it's very compact so you can place it anywhere in your home, provided of course you have an ethernet connector there since it doesn't come with Wi-Fi out the box. But since you don't need to access this box physically very often, just put it wherever you have Ethernet. You don't have to worry about Wi-Fi signal strength. The sticker on the back tells you that it runs on 12 volts at 1 amp, and that's exactly the size power adapter they provide. Power input, the two USBs, an HDMI port. But don't worry, it's not to be connected to a monitor all the time, it's just for when you need to do diagnostics, so you should be able to ignore it for now. If you ever need to recover the operating system, however, there's a micro SD card slot and there's the reset switch and finally, of course, the Ethernet jack. On the underside is an aluminium heat sink to keep it cool so there aren't any fans to make any noise or suck in dust. To set it up, we'll need our power supply and Ethernet cable. I bet the power supply is in here. Yep, it comes with multiple adapters for different countries. Setting up the Home Assistant Green is easy. First, we'll connect it to our router using the Ethernet cable. Next, we'll connect the hub to power using the power supply, which we found in the box marked power supply. Now, Keep an eye on the front of the unit after that and you'll know it's booted and running when you see the yellow LED flashing twice every second. Like a heartbeat. Because it's wired to my network and I have DHCP, I should already be able to find it. Let's see if we can do that. In the browser, we visit homeassistant.local on port 8123. And everything you need to get going is already there. The first time you visit the page, you'll get this message saying that it may take up to 20 minutes to prepare Home Assistant. But let's try it with the mobile app. Download the Home Assistant app on your phone. It's available in iOS and Android and it's a central user interface for controlling all of your smart devices. The setup process is pretty simple and intuitive, and it guides us through each step. 
With the app installed, we can now start pairing our smart devices with the Home Assistant Green Hub. Whether it's lights, locks, thermostats or cameras, the Home Assistant app makes it easy to connect and control them all from one place. And there we have it, our Home Assistant Green is all set up and ready to go and with its powerful features and easy setup it's sure to take your smart home experience to the next level. Now while you can have Home Assistant software running on a Raspberry Pi, it's so nice to have something that's ready to go out the box, designed specifically for the purpose, won't have features that go underutilized and won't have to share its resources with other tasks.